Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today, and joined with me, I've got the long-anticipated LEGO set, probably the most anticipated LEGO set of 2020, uh, the 501st Battle Pack. This is set number 75280, uh, the 501st Legion Clone Troopers. It's got 285 pieces, ages 7+, plus, and it comes with five minifigures here. So you're probably wondering, like, what the heck? I'm gonna I'm gonna review a Star Wars set? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna review a Star Wars set. Don't worry. I wouldn't even know where to start this review if I was gonna do that. But I do have this set here with me today. I did get it for Christmas, and I've been really excited to open it up. And there's actually a little reason that I'm excited for this set. And honestly, in today's video, I am just gonna be building this set as I tell you the story. So here, here that story goes. So the first question you're probably asking yourself as you start this video is, Brick Lover 18, why the heck are you building a LEGO Star Wars set? And that's a very valid question because you've all seen my videos, especially Ask Brick, where I've kind of addressed Star Wars and why I don't buy those sets. However, you'll see, and as I already said, this is not just any LEGO Star Wars set, but this is the 501st Battle Pack. So for those of you who may not know, although I'm sure all of you do because Ryan has a much larger following than I do, but the 501st Battle Pack was pretty much created directly as a result from a campaign from a LEGO YouTuber called MNR Productions. Uh, I don't know the exact history of the, you know, the 501st Battle Pack, but I'm sure Ryan will have done a video on it of his channel, or I'm sure there's lots of videos you could watch about it to get caught up. But essentially, from what I remember during that time period, is Ryan had basically said one time that he really wanted to see a 501st Battle Pack. And with that, it just launched this whole phenomenon about getting a 501st Battle Pack. We saw it on Twitter, uh, like they had hashtags, they were commenting on LEGO's releases, the, you know, hey, we want a 501st Battle Pack. Then it just seemed to turn into this thing that, you know, so many LEGO fans really wanted and were really passionate about. I know Ryan, he sold merch and stuff like that on his channel even about it. Like I remember seeing we want a 501st Battle Pack t-shirts and things like that, which overall I think is pretty cool. And it was just a huge thing. And I think this went on for over a year. I believe Ryan posted his first video maybe in like December of 2018 or something like that. Uh, and it was just a whole thing. It was always a big joke. Um, and I just heard about it. I don't watch Star Wars videos here up on YouTube very frequently. But of course, you couldn't be in the Lego YouTube space without knowing about this campaign. Fast forward to, again, and I don't know the full history here, but fast forward to, April, uh, I believe it was like March 30th or something like that, Ryan actually got an email from the LEGO group and he announced this in a video that they were making this 501st Battle Pack set. They gave, sent him an email and let him know that, hey, this is coming down the line, uh, just so you know, which obviously made him very, very excited. And then they announced it to the public the very next day. Uh, I first saw it on Twitter when they tweeted it and said, you asked for it, we listened, and they tweeted a picture of the 501st Battle Pack. So that is, that is really, really cool. Um, it was really shortly after that, and then the 501st Battle Pack has been basically in and out of stock ever since. I know there was a huge demand for it this summer. Anytime it became re became available on Shop at Home or Twitter or on uh, Amazon or something like that, Twitter just kind of popped off. You know, everybody just wanted to go pick this set up, and I think it's because generally the community was very excited for this set. And now, you know, I gave you the history of the 501st Battle Pack, but that didn't really answer why I'm making this video. So essentially, I'm making this video because I first off bought the 501st Battle Pack. I'm not a Star Wars fan, but with a set like this, I personally found it very impressive that LEGO decided to basically listen to a fan and create this set. It's always been said in the past that LEGO sometimes neglects their fans or they don't actually listen to what we really want uh, in comparison to like other toys and brands like that. And it's true, there has been several instances in the past where LEGO's just fully kind of done whatever they want and not really listen to their fans or the people actually buying their products. Um, you know, there's many, many examples of it. So it was just personally very exciting for me as a longtime LEGO fan and an avid person in the LEGO community that LEGO seamlessly seemed to make the set solely based on, on a, like a fan's desire for it. And of course, it might not just be the fan's desire. Maybe they had this set in the works years before Ryan even brought it to the YouTube light or anything like that. However, from our perspective and with the tweet and everything, letting Ryan know in advance, it certainly looks like Lego made this set as a result to, you know, Ryan really wanting to have this set, uh, which I think is really cool. And that's why I wanted to support this model. I don't know if this, I don't know if actually buying the set will make a difference or will do anything in the future, but I guess my 
you know, with it being so, such a popular set, I knew I wanted to be able to pick it up, build it, and kind of experience what the hype is all about. But also part of me is somewhat hoping that this is just setting a precedent for LEGO to listen to their fans a little bit more often. You know, LEGO obviously listened to their fans this time. They produced a set that many fans were asking for, and they saw the results. They saw that being helped by hundreds and thousands of LEGO fans purchasing this set, keeping it out of stock. I know so many YouTubers that are really into Star Wars bought like five or six of the set. Uh, they just really wanted a lot of it. So I'm hoping that with this support, I'm hoping LEGO realizes, hey, we built a set that people really like, and we built it because we listened to our fans. I would love to see LEGO listen to their fans a little bit more often. Do I have any examples specifically of where I want them to listen to their fans? Not necessarily. Um, it would be great, of course, if LEGO stopped making so many friggin' LEGO police sets, but you never, you know, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, it would just be really cool if LEGO would listen to their fans a little bit more, and I'm hoping that this set might be, might be kind of the first start to that. You know, if I can spend $40 for the potential for LEGO to listen to their fans a little bit more in the future, worst case scenario, they don't actually listen, they don't change anything, but I get a really cool set for $40. And best case scenario is I spend the $40 and it opens it up and it, you know, shows LEGO that, hey, it might be a good idea if we do some more fan original creations or, you know, you know, we see things on LEGO ideas that sometimes don't get passed even though they got 10,000 votes. Like that's a lot of people who wanted to see those models and uh, Lego may have worried that they were never going to pass, but you know, it's a little bit different of course, but that's kind of my mindset on it. I might be completely wrong. As I said, I might just be out my $40, but I get a set anyway, or, you know, we might be a little bit right and we might get to see more Lego sets in the future. Either way, to me, it seems like a win-win. I'm really happy with, uh, with this so far. This has been a cool set to build. You know, as you can see, I'm almost done now, but it's just, it's a really interesting concept. So big shout out to Ryan, of course, for kind of coming up with an idea and a campaign that got this set into the shelves, into my house here in Canada. Uh, that's pretty impressive. That's not something a lot of us can do with that reach and that power. So kudos to you for that one. That is really good. And Lego, if you're watching this video, because apparently you sometimes do tune in and watch, please continue to listen to your fans. I know it's not always possible and I know it's not always going to be something that's doable, but definitely try because obviously, and I hope this time was a prime example of where listening to your fans uh, was really beneficial for you. So essentially, I just wanted to buy the set to support Ryan. I wanted to buy the set to support the Star Wars fans who made the set happen. And of course, just the people of the LEGO community who really wanted to see this set because I want LEGO to listen in the future as well. And I want to see them create more fan inspired or fan motivated sets. All right, and there we have it. The 501st Battle Pack has been completely built. That was a pretty fun build. It took me a pretty decent amount of time, a lot longer than I thought it would for sure. But I'm very excited with this. And you know, as you heard from the story as I was building the set, I really don't care about the set as much as I do. I think it's a cool concept. I'm really glad that Ryan was able to do this campaign and get, you know, something that was his vision, his mindset onto shelves without even doing a Lego Ideas thing. That is really cool. And again, I just hope this supports him and it supports any future uh, campaigns or anything like that that Lego fans may choose to do uh, to promote Lego to get them to listen to us and get them to make sets that we really want to see. So hopefully, that will happen. I have no idea. Maybe that's a complete stretch. And this was, again, worst case scenario. I spent $40 and I got a Lego set. But anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for listening to my story. You'll have to let me know down in the comments below if you purchased this set or not. Anyway, thanks again so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.